Um, so uh, Trinity Sunday, you, you've seen us struggle with the technology already. Uh, you can now uh, enjoy watching me struggle with the theology. Um, let me just have a look at my screen. I can see a number of people who are watching. Sally says good morning uh, and uh, Susan Thorpe and Judith also say good morning. Uh, so good morning to all of you. And uh, we will, um, as it's Trinity Sunday, we're going to start with a, a, a Trinitarian hymn. We're going to start with the hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy. Uh, and I'm glad to say we've got uh, our little worship band assembled. We've got Catherine and Isabel. And um, the, the words to the hymn will come up on your screen and uh, you'll be able to join in. But I'm going to hand over to Catherine and Isabel to lead us in worship. Welcome back or welcome for the first time if you've just joined us. Uh, we are, it's morning worship on Trinity Sunday, 5th of June 2020, uh, coming live uh, from St Matthew's Church in Stretton and St Cross Appleton Thorn. And uh, we had a bit of a technical glitch there, as I said earlier on, if you were here, um, that we, uh, today's one of those days when we will struggle with the technology uh, and with the theology. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll get at least one of those sorted out. So uh, our opening words um, are on the screen um, and uh, Stephen and Jenny are going to lead us in these words of preparation. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God the Father forgives us in Christ and heals us by the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore put away all anger and bitterness, all slander and malice, and confess our sins to God our Redeemer. Father, you come to meet us when we return to you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you died on the cross for our sins. 
Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Spirit, you give us life and peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Father of all mercies cleanse you from your sins and restore you in his image to the praise and glory of his name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let everything be said and done in the name of the Lord Jesus. Giving thanks to God through Jesus Christ. Sing psalms, hymns and sacred songs. Let us sing to God with thankful hearts. Open our lips, Lord. Praise your name. So for our reading from Genesis, uh, it's quite a long reading, but we've got a number of voices uh, who will each read a part of it. Uh, so hopefully that will make it uh, easier to follow. And it's the account right at the beginning of our Bibles, uh, the account of the creation. And uh, uh, Carol and others are now going to lead us uh, and going to read that for us. Carol, you're muted. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was formless, void, and darkness covered the face of the deep while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. God said, let there be a dome in the midst of the waters and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome, and it was so. God called the dome sky, and there was evening and there was morning the second day. And God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear and it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, and the fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening, and there was morning, the third day. And God said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days, and years. And let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every creature that moves of every kind with which the waters swarm and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, 
Let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things, and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind, and the cattle of every kind, and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion, dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every plant for food. And it was so. God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, all, and all their multitude. On the seventh day, God finished the work that he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all the work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because on it God rested from all the work that he had done in creation. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good stuff. Thank you very much to our readers and uh, uh, for giving us the, the, the story of creation. Uh, today is Trinity Sunday, and uh, I, I think the reason why that reading is included on Trinity Sunday uh, is because we can see in it uh, a sort of a, a foreshadowing of uh, our understanding of God. God, the creator who creates by his word, God says, let there be, and there is. So God, the creator who brings into, into being all that is, uh, and does that by his word uh, and we also see reference to the spirit moving over the face of the waters uh, and some of those uh, ideas about god that uh, that uh, make our christian creed um, are sort of prefigured there uh, in that passage of the old testament we're going to sing glory to god we're going to use a setting that we've used before it's it's uh, based on a, a peruvian uh, text peruvian uh, melody and uh, it is it's done as a call and response. So I will sing both parts because I, I won't be able to hear you singing. Just checking that all my fellow participants have their microphones muted. Uh, no offence. And uh, uh, normally in church you'd, you'd see these words in a booklet and I'd invite you to join in with the dark, the, the lines in dark black type. So do please do that. Um, but as it's as I won't be able to hear you, I will be singing both parts. So we begin with glory to God, glory to the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. To God be glory forever. To God be glory forever. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, Son of the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, Son of the Father, to God be glory forever, to God be glory forever, 
Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Spirit. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Spirit. To God be glory forever, to God be glory forever. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. And next, uh, Linda is going to read the gospel for us. The gospel reading is taken from Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 to 20. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lovely. Thank you, uh, Linda. Uh, for our gospel reading and again uh, a passage with a sort of trinitarian content uh, as uh, jesus sends us out to baptize in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit now i'm looking on my screen because i need to see me and i can see linda which is not a problem um, but i'm going to do a, a a visual talk and so there i am there i am back uh, as i've said we've uh, we struggle with the the technology as every Sunday, uh, but today we struggle with the theology as well, the idea of talking about God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, but God as one. But uh, there's nothing that you can't explain without a few pieces of rope. So what I've got, and I hope this works on the screen, uh, I'll just get slightly further away. I've got three pieces of rope, um, and uh, I'm going to use these and, and everything will become clear. Um, to help me, they are color coordinated. So I've got one piece of rope that's got green ends, one piece of rope that's got uh, red ends and one piece of rope that's got blue ends um, and hopefully you can see that that's what I've got let me just see there we go um, so three pieces of rope so what I'm going to do is um, some of you may have tried this before if you've got something important to remember you tie a knot uh, sometimes in a handkerchief but sometimes in a, in a piece of string some people do this tie a knot in a in a handkerchief or piece of string put that in your pocket you put your hand in your pocket and that knot reminds you of something that's important. So what I thought I'd do, if I got these three ropes uh, and I'm going to use them to, I'm going to tie knots to, uh, to remind me of the, the most important things that I need to remember when I'm thinking or talking about God. So I'll start off with, with the green rope. I call it the green rope. It's, a, it's, it's got green ends. And I'm going to tie a knot in that, that first piece of rope. Um, green is the colour of uh, our planet. Um, green leaves, green grass, uh, and uh, it is there to remind me that God is our creator. Uh, God is the one who brings everything into existence. Uh, and we might think about God as being the parent, the father of creation. Uh, and so the, uh, those early disciples of Jesus, that was the first thing they knew. They knew God as father of the universe uh, and of their nation of Israel. There's the first thing I want to remember today about God. So I've tied a knot in, in a green piece of rope uh, for, to remind me that God is our creator. Uh, the second piece of rope is the one with the red ends. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to tie those together. Uh, red, I think, is the color of love. If you, if you have a Valentine's card and you send it to someone you love, it might well have a big red heart on it. Uh, and so this reminds us that God, the creator of the universe, is love. Uh, and we might also think uh, about 
I mean, the reason why hearts are red is because they're full of blood, our, our, the, our life is in our blood. Uh, and uh, in church, we often, every time we think about Jesus who, who gives his life for us, he dies on the cross, pours out his life for us. Uh, and so that red rope and the knot in the red rope will remind me that God is love and that we know that because of what we see of God in Jesus uh, who lived for us and died on the cross for us. That leaves me with one more piece of rope. This is the rope with the, with the, with the blue ends. I'm going to tie those together and this knot is to remind me, well, what have we got left? We thought about God the Father, God the Son, must be God the Holy Spirit. When we were talking about the Holy Spirit last week, Pentecost Sunday, we thought about uh, the rushing living water that Jesus promised and the Spirit is poured out upon us like water. And so blue, the colour of the oceans, the colour of water, uh, is to remind us of God pouring out his love to us today. Uh, God showing us his love in creation, God showing us his love in the life, the death and the resurrection of Jesus, and God pouring out his love to us today in the power and grace and love of his Holy Spirit. So I've got three pieces of rope tied in circles, uh, and each of them has got a knot in to remind me of what I need to think about when I talk about God. Uh, and you might think, well, you've ended up with three different things. You've got three circles of rope. Surely we don't believe in three gods. No, of course we don't. Because actually what I've got is just one circle of rope. And there it is. Uh, there are three knots in it to remind me of the, those three things that I wanted to say about God. But actually what I've got is a single circle of rope, uh, which I can, if I just get inside it, there I am, I'm enfolded in the love of God, in a, a single circle of love, as God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit are united and love each other, and they invite me into their circle of love. Uh, and that's what a Christian is. It's someone who knows that we are invited into the circle of God's love. Uh, and so today, whether we think of God as uh, uh, those, those three circles uh, or one circle uh, we are invited however we think of God today invited by Jesus and by God's spirit into the circle of his love uh, and that's <laughs> that went well uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised I shouldn't be I suppose uh, but uh, uh, thank you for watching uh, we're going to um, continue uh, we'll get the screen back up because Linda is going to lead us in the creed as we respond to God's love made known to us uh, in the, the person of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We'll say together, we'll say together the words on the screen as we say our creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Thank you. We continue with our prayers. Again, you'll hear a number of voices leading us in prayer. Let us pray. We come boldly to the throne of grace, praying to the almighty God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, for mercy and grace. We plead before your throne in heaven. Father of heaven, whose love profound a ransom for our souls has found, we pray for the world created by your love for its nations and governments. Extend to them your peace, pardoning love, mercy and grace. 
we plead before your throne in heaven. Almighty Son, incarnate word, our prophet, priest, redeemer, Lord. We pray for the church created for your glory, for its ministry to reflect those works of yours. Extend to us your salvation, growth, mercy and grace. We plead before your throne in heaven. Eternal Spirit, by whose breath the soul was raised from sin and death. We pray for families and individuals created in your image, for the lonely, the bereaved, the sick and the dying. Breathe on them the breath of life and bring them to your mercy and grace. We remember especially the bereaved families and friends of Margaret Mile and Austin Webster. We plead before your throne in heaven. Thrice holy, Father, Spirit, Son, mysterious Godhead, three in one. We pray for ourselves, for your church, for all whom we remember before you. We think particularly of our school and all schools as children begin to return. We pray for the safety and well-being of staff and children and their families and communities. Bring us all to bow before your throne in heaven to receive life and pardon, mercy and grace for all eternity. As we worship you saying, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. We continue with the Lord's Prayer. As always, um, please say whichever version you're more comfortable with. The contemporary version is on the screen, but uh, feel free to use the more traditional words if you prefer. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And the collect, the uh, prayer for today, for Trinity Sunday. Holy God, faithful and unchanging, Enlarge our minds with the knowledge of your truth and draw us more deeply into the mystery of your love that we may truly worship you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today uh, at St Cross we would be remembering HMS Black Cap. Um, the first Sunday in June is normally the day on which um, or used to be the day on which the, the Fleet Air Arm Association uh, Regional uh, Branch had its uh, uh, commemoration service at St Cross. Um, the number of people uh, who were attending that was dropping as, uh, as uh, uh, shipmates were aging and uh, we were losing them. Um, but we've decided to keep uh, remembering you in prayer, remembering HMS Blackcap and all who served there at the, uh, at the Royal Naval Air Station, Stretton. Uh, it was open from 1942 to 1958. And, uh, and so we remember uh, particularly those who are buried in the churchyard at St Cross uh, and their families and descendants. Uh, and I'm going to lead the Fleet Air Arm Prayer. O God who dwells above the water and has the power to still the raging of the sea, accept the prayers of all your servants who commit their lives to the dangers of the sea and the air in all their ways, Enable them to serve you in a godly and faithful way, and in their Christian lives reflect your glory throughout the world. Through all their journeys, watch over them that they may overcome evil, temptation, or anything that harms their souls, so that through all the changes and chances of this life, you will bring them by your mercy to the sure promise of your everlasting kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, 
we're going to sing again. We're going to sing Shine, Jesus, Shine. I was trying to think of a, a hymn or a song that would uh, uh, be sufficiently Trinitarian, and I think this one does it. Uh, so let me just get myself sorted out as I find my music and my guitar. Words will be on the screen. Do please feel free uh, to sing and uh, sing your little hearts out. Lord, the light of your love is shining. Shine, Jesus, shine. Lord, the light of your love is shining in the midst of the darkness, shining. Jesus, light of the world, shine upon us. Set us free by the truth you now bring us. Shine on me. Shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Blaze, Spirit, blaze. Set our hearts on. drawing to a conclusion and uh, thank you very much for joining us those who've joined us on Facebook we will um, endeavor to put the uh, the video uh, uh, upload that to YouTube as well um, but uh, thank you for being here those who've joined live and those who will be watching later uh, and I'm glad that uh, uh, Cheryl enjoyed my explanation of the Trinity <laughs> you can explain it to me one day um, so later on today, as it's the first Sunday of the month, we would normally at St Matthew's, we would normally have a service of uh, evening prayer from the Book of Common Prayer. Uh, so I will be leading uh, just a, a simple said service at 6.30 here on Facebook, if you'd like to join me for that. Uh, and I know that uh, the words of uh, the Book of Common Prayer will be very familiar to, to many of you. Um, and uh, uh, so if you want to come and join me for that, uh, I'm sure that would be... Um, Many of you would, would find that quite helpful to hear those very familiar words uh, from evening prayer. Uh, on Wednesday, Linda is going to be leading us in uh, a reflection, um, drawing on some of the events that we're aware of uh, happening in the world around us and uh, reflecting on those in the light of God's love for God's world. Thursday, now I'm sure you know this as well, Thursday, the Thursday after Trinity Sunday is Corpus Christi, otherwise known as um, the, the Body of Christ. 
uh, or a day of thanksgiving for Holy Communion. And of course, Holy Communion is one of the things that we're not doing at the moment. Um, on a Thursday morning, we would normally have a communion service at St. Matthew's. So I thought on Corpus Christi, the day of thanksgiving for the institution of the Eucharist, of the Holy Communion, um, I would uh, say some prayers. Again, uh, they will be live on Facebook. Um, so that's 10.30 on Thursday morning, marking uh, the feast Corpus Christi, thanksgiving for Holy Communion. Friday, I'll be back for uh, praise and play aimed at uh, younger children, but everybody's welcome to join us uh, for a bit of a sing-along. And I know some grown-ups have been joining us. I say grown-ups. Um, and then next Sunday, we'll be back for Sunday worship. Now, um, if you would like to join us, um, if you've got, you need, a, you need a computer with a camera and a microphone, if you've got a laptop or an iPad, uh, that they, they have those things built in. You don't need to download some software called Zoom. And, and other than that, um, uh, if we can do it, uh, so can you. So if you would like to do a reading or perhaps um, say the congregational responses, there are all sorts of ways in which you could, uh, you could help us uh, and uh, join in. So do please get in touch and uh, we, can, we can give you some training. We can help you to find out uh, if you want to give it a try uh, because we have a get together um, beforehand to um oh just looking um uh, a couple of people saying they enjoyed the song uh, liz kenyon thinks it's it goes quite high it does you're right <laughs> um especially if you've got a croaky voice like me so get in touch if you want to come and join us on zoom uh, my thanks to catherine and isabel to linda carol uh, stephen richard and jenny and uh, thank you for being with us um and now uh, richard i think he is yes richard is going to lead us in the concluding part of our service. God the Father, who first loved us and made us accepted in the beloved Son, bless us. Amen. God the Son, who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, bless us. Amen. God the Holy Spirit, who sheds abroad the love of God in our hearts. Bless us. Amen. The blessing of the one true God, to whom be all love and all glory for time and for eternity, come down upon us and remain with us always. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, Rich is now going to take us offline and we look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>